All right, so we're going to solve a couple more quadratics using the null factor law. Um, now, all of the hard work you've done on learning how to factorize should make these really, really straightforward. So, x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0, solve. That means find out what x is. Now, it's a quadratic, so it's probably going to have two answers here. Uh, now, to um, factorize this, you can use the AC method, so you need... Uh, two numbers when added together, sorry, when multiplied together make 6, and when added together make negative 5. That's going to be uh, like negative 2 and negative 3. So we can decompose this now. Negative 2x, negative 3x, plus 6, x squared over here. Factorize this, common factor of x, x minus 2, Repeated factor, x minus 2, uh, looks like it's going to be minus 3 out here, x minus 3, x minus 2 equals 0. Now that, I've gone through that really quickly because you should know how to factorize by now, but now we can use our null factor law because we can say that x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Here's our a, here's our b, a times b is equal to 0. Therefore, either x minus 3 is equal to 0, or x minus 2 is equal to 0. That means that x is equal to 3, or x is equal to 2. Answer, answer, always get two answers. All right, this one here x squared equals 4x plus 15. It doesn't immediately look like a quadratic, but you can see an x squared, so oh, maybe. Um, let's work through it step by step. I can expand these brackets. That's going to give me x squared equals 4x plus 60. I can put all of this on one side. That'll give me x squared minus 4x minus 60, x squared minus 4x minus 60. I need two numbers uh, when multiplied make 60, and when added together make negative 4. Uh, what are those two numbers, I wonder? So 10 and 6 should do the job. Uh, it'll be negative 10x, positive 6x, minus 60 equals 0. Uh, factorize that. x, x minus 10, repeated factor, uh, positive 6. So it's going to be x plus 6, x minus 10 equals 0. And therefore, this is where we use our null factor theorem, we've got a, which is x plus 6, b, which is x minus 10, they're multiplied together to make 0, so x plus 6 must be equal to 0, or x minus 10 must be equal to 0, therefore x equals negative 6, the positive 6 moves over to become negative 6, or x equals 10. Two answers. And this last one here, just moved it up a little bit, uh, x plus 6 over x equals x. Now, if I multiply both sides by x, uh, that's, that x is going to cancel out when I multiply by x here, and this x is going to become x squared. So I'm going to end up with x plus 6 equals x squared, and you can see it's starting to look like a quadratic here. x squared uh, minus x minus 6 equals 0. I uh, need some sort of like null factor law thing going on. Uh, let's decompose that. That's going to be x squared. Uh, let's go with minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Should have an equal sign there. Uh, common factors, x minus 3. Repeated factor, x minus 3. Positive 2 there. x plus 2 x minus 3, that's equal to 0, 
and we can use our null factor law here to say that that's uh, x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 therefore x equals negative 2 or x equals positive 3. Done! Null factor law.